fire really just exploding in size right now. Yes, and producing wildfire smoke, of course, too, along with it. Now, conditions, they've been dry. We've had a lot of things to stir it up, but it's just in an area of terrain. You can see that wildfire smoke. Now, this is a model, so this is going to show us what's going to happen over the next few days. We haven't been dealing with much wildfire smoke here in the Willamette Valley, but we may see some of that stir up to the north here in the coming days. There's Sunday. We're in the clear, but then come Monday, it looks like some of that wildfire smoke may start to inch a little bit closer to the Willamette Valley. We're going to watch that as we head into probably our Monday. So just note that it might get a little hazy out there as we get closer to the start of the work week. All right, right now it is just beautiful around here. A day to just get outdoors. It was cooler in the morning. We had the clouds and we've made it through the clouds now and some blue skies in place. There's Vancouver and Stoller Winery there. Love the shot over in wine country. Lincoln City, a little bit different than what we had going on in Seaside, but still a marvelous place to be right now, right? And then there's Mount Hood Meadows with some clouds passing on by. Also a little bit of blue sky in place. Soon, soon we'll start seeing some snowfall up there. We've already had some snowfall in the Rockies over the last week or so. Maybe we'll start seeing some in the higher elevations of the Cascades as we move forward in time. All right, here's that beautiful view of Lincoln City once again. There's some folks there walking along the Oregon coast. Not too bad. Again, just some clouds kind of streaming on in as we go into the evening hours. I want to let you know, though, tonight's going to be pretty cool. Uh, we're going to see those temperatures dropping on down. So by being pretty cool, I mean the temperatures will be falling a bit. Nice, pleasant Sunday, though, coming up right behind that. So temperatures tonight down to about the 50s. We'll return to the heat again on Monday. I'm telling you, temperatures once again just starting to move right back into the upper 80s to about the 90 degrees. Uh, on Monday, and then we'll probably get into the mid 90s by Tuesday. I still have no rain in the forecast right now. Well, if you're going out this evening, temperatures in the 70s, 73 coming up Hillsboro. We have 76 for Beaverton there. A lot of locations in the 70s there. 71 coming out of Battleground, Vancouver. I hope you're having a great day so far, 73. And Milwaukee coming in at 71 degrees. Tonight, temperatures down to about the upper 50s. But if you're down in Salem or Eugene, you might need a flannel or have your jacket if you're out early tomorrow morning. Look at that, down to about 53 degrees. And then even some 40s there from Madras down through Bent. Satellite over the last couple of hours showed some clouds, but then those have all started to thin out and recede a bit. And then we brought in some sunshine this afternoon. Again, we saw what it looked like outside. It's just fantastic. Well, some high pressure right there, even though we have some northwest flow kind of in place. Those clouds will start to erode. Let me show you what's going on, though. Even though we have kind of a cooler weekend, at least today, and tomorrow will be a little bit warmer, it's below average. But we are going to start to see this ridge develop just to the east of us, and that's going to bring back that summer heat again back into the 90s. We just can't ditch it. Last time we had 70s like this without any rain, like a day like today was back in July. And two days later, we had 90s, and it looks like we'll have the same thing occur this time around, too. 81 degrees on Sunday here in Portland, at least the lower 80s for a lot of locations, maybe some upper 70s out there as well. I'll show you for Sunday for the Oregon coast, some 60s and 70s, some clouds around, fewer by the afternoon and evening. I have 80 degrees to the upper 70s here in the Willamette Valley. Great day to be outdoors. 85 coming out of Madras tomorrow, bend at 85, and that goes for areas of the gorge, too. A little bit warmer for the Dalles at 88 degrees. Government camp at 68. Here's your seven day forecast 90 on Monday. We're back to the heat as I just promised you 97 degrees there on Tuesday. A lot of sunshine. This is going to be our warmest day. No doubt about it. Maybe the warmest one that we see for this summer. Hopefully we start trending the other way, right? 80 degrees there on Friday, 84 on Saturday. So again, this could potentially be our warmest one to wrap up the summer. We'll see what happens as we get closer to September. But for now, we have at least maybe one more heat wave, Wayne. A little bit of a break beforehand, though. That's a, that's a good thing. Thank you, Joseph. Yeah. Next, after